Hey there, folks. Katie Courget from Midwest Outdoors representing Deeper Sonar, and we are getting on the fish here on the ice. We're fishing the Southwest Metro of Minneapolis, Minnesota. I just put the deeper down, literally just put my nice little crappie minnow down, and woo, we got a lively sunfish here. Stay tuned, we'll be getting some more fish coming at ya. There we go. Fish on. That was cool because I saw it right on the deeper and boom, nice little sunny, sunny action. So we're just fishing a simple tungsten jig today, 30 second ounce. This one, I like the, the pinks, so I tend to go for a pink and white jig. This one's tipped with a little diamond for the girly flair that I enjoy. <laughs> and uh, got them right in the corner of the lip. I just felt the tiniest little bump and I marked them right on my deeper here. Ooh, there's a little guy, let him go. But you can see I have that flasher mode going on the deeper sonar, just have the deeper placed in the hole. And I saw him zoom right up from the bottom up for this jig. I was fishing about a foot up from the bottom. So they're active and healthy, that's for sure. There we go, they are on fire. This one feels a little bit healthier. We're on school of sunnies. But that wax worm and jig combo is, woo, working pretty well for these guys. The nice part about Minnesota is that although we only can use one rod during the open water season, when we're fishing on the ice, when it's hard water, we can use two. So I'm just using a very simple custom rod setup here. It has a super light tip, allows me to see even the tiniest nibble from these guys. And this other rod I have in the corner, I'm using crappie minnows. I have just a simple hook on there with a bobber setup, slip bobber. So I've identified where the bottom was here, it's about 12 feet. Have that down with a crappie minnow. The crappie minnow's doing the work for me and hopefully we'll see that bobber go down pretty quick. You just have to say, here fishy fishy a few times and they'll come up, here he goes. There we go, fish on. Ooh, he's fighting a little bit heavier. Another sunfish. Nice little guy. Put them back in, perfect. I love the color of them this time of the year. They're just so bright and very beautiful fish. So one of the things that I really love about this deeper too is when I'm bringing a fish up like this, I don't have to bring the, the deeper out of the hole. Sometimes I've had fish get connected and stuck with lines, any kind of gear that you have where you have to pull it up. This doesn't have anything like that. It makes it very simple to be able to just get this fish, not worry about losing the fish at the hole because there's a lot of lines in the way. And it fits in the palm of your hand, which is so nice too, because when I'm going and I'm trying to find different spots on the lake, I'm drilling different holes, I can just simply take this out of my pocket, put it in the hole, and I get a live feed on my phone so I can see what the depth is, where the structure is looking at, and my marking fish gives me some incentive to go ahead and just set up right away. He just came flying off the bottom for that little fighter. Fun little guy. That's so great. And that's what I really love about this deeper model. And the specific model that I'm using is the Pro Plus. There's three different kinds that are on the market and that's the best bang for your buck is the Pro Plus model. It has all the features in it. it allows you to see these guys on the bottom. Let him go. Whoop. So with the Pro Plus model, there's a few different things that I really enjoy about it. With the flasher perspective, you're able to really see all of the structure. It gives you the live feed of the water temperature, how deep you are, where is that weed line, if there is a weed line on there, and where are the fish? Are they suspended? You know, if we're going for panfish here and we're going for crappies, and I actually got one here. Ooh, that's fighter. Let's see what he's got. Oh, it's a crappie. Speaking of crappie. <laughs> Beautiful fish, beautiful color on this one. Nice, healthy crappie. We're gonna let him go swim another day. Oh, you gotta love being interrupted by those fish. But as I was saying, the Deeper has three different models of these sonars out, and I've been using the Pro Plus model. There are many different settings and many different views that you can use it for. The best for ice fishing is that traditional flasher viewpoint. So I'm able to see at a glimpse, what's the water temperature? How deep are we? Where's the bottom being marked on here? Where are the fish? And let's say I'm really specifically targeting suspended fish. I'm able to see where they are on this flasher model, but I also on the right hand side here can adjust the zoom window. So if I'm really seeing a cluster of fish within a couple feet of each other, I'd be able to move that to where it is so I can get a, a better profile of that. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's see what you are. <laughs> I think it's a big crappie. Yep. Nice 
nice crap. Woo, that's a beautiful one. Look at that. Love that fish. You gotta love the color of these fish. So there are a lot of reasons that I love the deeper and, and one of the components of it is that it's very social. There are many different opportunities to look at the weather on the app. There's a map on there so you can see where specifically you were from a GPS perspective on the lake when you were catching those fish. Many different apps and many different activities can be cataloged on here and probably one of the most fun of that too is that there is a camera in the app that can link to your social media accounts. So I can be out on the lake, I can snap a picture of me in this nice little crappie and share it to my Facebook in just a few clicks. <laughs> fish on, ooh, he, ooh, it's a nice crappie. Look at that guy. Coming up, woo! Look at this beautiful crappie. Man, we've had such a wonderful day out here today. So if you'd like to find out more about Deeper Sonar, please visit us on deepersonar.com. Otherwise, thank you so much for fishing with me, fishing the Courget way with Katie Courget, tight lines, and stay tuned for more of Midwest Outdoors.